Hello dear students, welcome back to my channel Hilo Pharmacology. In today's session, let us see about the pharmacotherapy of diabetes mellitus. As you know, in case of diabetes mellitus, there will be variation in the blood sugar levels. So this variation in the blood sugar levels can be either due to two types of diabetes mellitus. So what are the two types of diabetes mellitus? So we have type 1 diabetes mellitus as well as type 2 diabetes mellitus. So please remember type 1 diabetes mellitus is most commonly seen in case of younger age group whereas type 2 is seen in case of middle or elderly age group. In case of type 1 there will be complete insufficiency of the insulin production whereas in case of type 2 diabetes mellitus there will be little insufficiency of the insulin which can lead to deterioration causing complete insulin insufficiency in the later stages. So please remember in type 1 there will be insulin complete insulin deficiency so you should go for insulin therapy. Whereas in case of type 2 diabetes mellitus the insulin will be there but insulin will not be sufficient to regulate the blood sugar levels. So in case of type 2 diabetes mellitus, initially you will go for therapeutic lifestyle modification or lifestyle changes. So you can ask the patient to make some lifestyle changes with respect to their dietary habits as well as with the exercise pattern. So dietary habits has to be restricted based on their calorie intake you need to plan the dietary intake so it is the medical nutritional therapy has to be recommended they need to calculate their amount of calories they are taking per day based on that they need to limit their calorie intake so that they can regulate their blood sugar levels without any medication and also exercise will also help in increasing the glucose utilization in the muscles thereby helping in regulating the blood sugar levels. So if it is not controlling or along with the therapeutic lifestyle changes you can go with the metformin so that you can bring the blood sugar under control. So metformin has to be administered making sure that there are no any contraindication. So you need to go for renal function test. So if the GFR is very low, you need to avoid using metformin. So once you use the metformin, so I can say metformin is a initial drug of choice in the treatment of type 2 diabetes mellitus. So then after administering metformin, you have to see the glycemic control whether the patient is getting adequate control or not. So you need to go for HbA1c that is glycosylated hemoglobin levels. If the glycosylated hemoglobin levels are less than 7% or 7% you can continue the same current regimen. If the glycemic controls are above 7% or it may be 10, it may be 12. So in such case, you need to go on with the add-on therapies. So if it is less than 7%, you need to continue the current strategy of treatment as the therapeutic lifestyle changes with the restriction of dietary intake along with the metformin. So you can uh, give the metformin doses and if the glycemic controls are not adequately controlled, you need to consider for add-on therapy. So what will be your add-on therapy? So add-on therapy or the one you will be using along with the therapeutic lifestyle changes with metformin and also you will be adding one more drug. So either it can be a insulin 
or before adding the insulin you can go with the other anti diabetic agents which are available such as sulfonyl ureas so you can add on with the sulfonyl ureas and make sure if the blood sugars are adequately controlled or you can go with the thiazolidindones so if they are not getting controlled with the add on therapy so you need to check which drug will suit for the individual patient so this individualization is very much necessary in the treatment of diabetes mellitus or you can go with the dipeptidyl peptidase for inhibitors or you can go with glp1 receptor agonist so this can be used as a add on drugs so if you are not able to get the sugars under control the next final step will be you need to go for insulin administration so whenever you are using the insulin administration also you need to calculate the dose of insulin which is required for the patient again individualization of the dosage is very very important in case of treatment of diabetes mellitus or if your dosage pattern is not proper the patient may go for complication and side effects like the hypoglycemia as well as the patient can go for severe hypoglycemic episodes so if the glycemic controls are lacking you need to optimize by adding the second drug that is along with the metformin you go with the other agents like sulfonylureas thiazolidindones as well as dpp4 inhibitors or glp1 receptor uh, agonist so if you are not getting the glucose levels under control then you must consider adding on the insulin again when you are adding insulin as i said you need to calculate the insulin dose which is required for that individual based on the dietary intake as well as their lifestyle modifications etc or you need to consider for the multiple doses of insulin multiple daily doses of insulin has to be properly recorded and it should be told to the patient when to take an the insulin before or after the food and also you need to uh, see whether they required the bolus insulin doses or you want to go for a shorter as well as a rapid acting insulin based on the patient requirement in controlling the glucose level to the adequate levels so this was about the pharmacotherapy for diabetes if you find this video useful please do subscribe to my channel i love pharmacology and do not forget to share and hit the like button for more updates on pharmacology thank you